Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Lorentz Craft Arrows plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin that adds a ton more customizable arrows to your server. There's about 30 of them. It's really crazy. So let's just jump into it. So if you do forward slash LCA, that's going to give you a list of commands, and then if you do LCA list, that's actually going to give you a list of all the different arrows in the game. And as you can see, there is a lot of them. So then if we do forward slash LCA recipes followed by whichever arrow we want, that's going to pop up a GUI and tell us the recipe to craft whatever arrow we chose. So if we chose the arrow of fire, that's going to show us how we would craft a fire arrow, for example. Now if I go in the crafting bench and just put nine arrows in here, that is going to craft a volley arrow. And as you can see, there's a cool description for each of these arrows um, that we have. So what we're going to do is uh, have a look at what we can do with this plugin. So if we do LCA give my username and then whatever arrow we want, such as explosive and then the amount, we can demonstrate what some of these arrows do. So as expected, the explosive arrow creates a massive explosion and kills all of the pigs around it. And in this chest, I've got most of the arrows, not quite all of them. And as you can see, there's loads of different types. There's force field, net, multi shot, levitation, lance, ice, homing, piercing, sniper vortex so we're going to take a look at some of the coolest ones that i found so if we have a look at the cooling arrow this is um this is a pretty cool arrow so it turns lava to an obsidian just with one shot so there's a lava pool down here if we shoot it it will turn to obsidian for a temporary amount of time which you can set in the config file and then if we go back into here we can find another arrow that's pretty cool we have the force field arrow so as the name would suggest this creates kind of a force field between you and the pig and it will send you both flying backwards as you can see next we are going to have a look at the ice arrow so this is similar to the cooling arrow if you shoot this into some water it's going to immediately turn it to ice for a certain amount of time and then if we pop it back in we can look at the jacko arrow and what this is going to do is create a jack-o-lantern on top of wherever you shoot it um, so it's coming up to halloween so this is very festive and as you can see you know pretty simple that's all that arrow does we have a few other ones such as the levitation arrow and as the name would suggest this makes a pig levitate up about 10 feet in the air before dropping down we have the lightning arrow so this is pretty straightforward if we were to shoot this at a pig it's going to be struck by lightning like so and then we have the fire arrow this is pretty dangerous in the forest as you can see it just sets everything on fire including the pigs um, so watch out for this one then we have the multi-shot arrow this is going to fire multiple arrows at once uh, when you only use one arrow so that's pretty cool and then if we go to the shuffle arrow this is one of my favorites so the shuffle arrow is going to swap your place in the world with whatever you shoot at so if we shoot at a pig he's going to be teleported to where i was and i get teleported to where he was even if he's killed so as you can see it works very well and we can swap places with this pig like so so the sniper arrow is really awesome it doesn't have any drop due to gravity it just goes straight really fast so that makes aiming pretty easy we have a couple of awesome ones here and a walling arrow. So this one creates a temporary wall in front of you um, between the enemy um, where the arrow lands. So as you can see, it creates a nice cobblestone dirt wall that will disappear over after about 10 seconds. And finally, we have a wither arrow. So this is just going to shoot a wither head, as you can see, and it will have a small explosion wherever it lands. So not as powerful as the explosive arrow, but still pretty cool. So that was a quick look at some of the different arrows that I think are really awesome. There's loads that we didn't look at, so feel free to download the plugin and check those ones out. Uh, but we're going to look over the config files and see what we can do in there now. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and as you can see, there are three different YML files. So let's start in the config.yml, and what we're going to see in here is a few different things. So whether you want to use permissions, whether you want infinity bow work, so allow infinity bows to shoot special arrows without it using the arrow. Uh, can skeletons use these special arrows, which is really cool. And there's another file we need to look into to customize that. And then should they drop special arrows and should they only drop special arrows when killed by a player? So there's not too much in the config, but if we go into the skeleton arrows.yml, this is where you're going to be able to set the chance of a skeleton 
dropping and shooting a an arrow. So here are all the different ones. So we have like the lightning arrow, the poison arrow, the fire arrow, and the higher the number next to the arrow is the higher the chance it will drop. So normal 43, all of these two or three. So not very high. And if you don't want it to drop at all, all you need to do is just pop a zero next to it and then it's disabled. So we have the same thing down here, which is the drop chance uh, for all the different arrows, as you can see here. Um, and you can just list all the ones that you want and take off the ones that you don't want, which is really cool. And right down at the bottom, we have whether we want a fixed amount of arrows or we want the min and the max. Um, so there we go. Let's go back to the final YML file. And in here, this is quite a long one. It has all of the different arrows, the recipes, the effects, everything to do with it, the name description, whether it's enabled and craftable. So we can have a look at a few different ones of these. So this is the ice arrow. Um, so it's enabled, it's craftable. We've got the name, the description, the amount you get, and the cleanup delay. So after 600 seconds, it's going to remove the ice and turn it back to water, for example. And then down here, we've got um, all of the different items that it will use in order to create the recipe. So it's in BAB, which would be uh, snowball, water bucket, snowball at the top of the crafting recipe. Then down here we have uh, the jack-o'-lantern arrow that we showed in game. And as you can see, here is the crafting recipe. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, you don't need to edit any of this. The developer has done a fantastic job um, customizing this. And then if we go over to the Spigot page, you can see this is updated for the latest version of Minecraft. It was updated this week, which is really awesome. And on the Spigot page, we've got a long list of all the different arrows, the commands, the permissions. And then if you have an issue with the plugin, you can contact the developer on Spigot or Discord, whatever's easier. And then if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.